archaeologists unearthed an unusual ancient temple in Africa. They also discovered something interesting. Africa is home to thousands of mysterious ruins, but there isn't anything quite like the unusual ancient temple unearthed in Sudan by a group of Polish archaeologists and the discoveries they made at the site in 2023. Here's what you'll want to know. Researchers discovered the remains of a rather distinctive ancient temple that they believed dated back centuries according to reporting from Live Science at the time of the discovery. Found in Sudan The temple's remains were found at the site of a medieval citadel known as Old Dongola and appeared to be a part of what was known as the Kingdom of Kush. However, that wasn't the most interesting part of the find. Decorated with hieroglyphs some of the temple's stone blocks were decorated with figures and hieroglyphic inscriptions, wrote live science journalist Owen Jarris, something that was not unusual for Kush, although the hieroglyphs themselves did prove to be unprecedented. Pharaonic in nature According to a press release from the University of Warsaw's Center of Mediterranean Archaeology, archaeologists found pharaonic hieroglyphs and figural decorations. The place and location of the find are what matter. In and of themselves, the hieroglyphs and decoration were nothing special, it was their location and theorized time of inscription that made them so groundbreaking for researchers. Part of an older ancient structure An analysis of the iconography and script suggests that they were part of a structure dating to the first half of the first millennium BC, Jairus continued, suggesting the temple might have been 2,700 years old. Unique and Unexpected this is a unique and unexpected discovery, as until now, despite nearly 60 years of archaeological research in Old Dangola, no traces from such an early period have been encountered, wrote Andre Sotek in a press release from the University of Warsaw. Shedding new light on Old Dangola Sotek added that confirmation of a pharaonic temple at the site of Old Dangola could shed new light on the history of the site, indicating a much earlier date for its foundation. More research and study is needed. Dr. David Weeksorek is an Egyptologist who worked on identifying the ancient temple remains at Old Dangola and said that researchers are still unsure if the site is genuine. Were the blocks moved to Old Dangola? According to Weeksorek, it is still impossible to determine if the inscribed temple blocks found at Old Dangola were from a previous site or if they were moved there later. We just don't have all the facts yet. Based on the archaeological material collected so far, it is impossible to determine whether the inscribed blocks came from Old Dangola itself, or whether they had been brought here from another site and reused for construction purposes. No other known similar sites in the area. Either way, this is a surprising find, Wieserek said according to Sotek, as the blocks came from a monumental stone building and there are no known sites with Egyptian architecture within a radius of more than a hundred kilometers from Old Dangola. The Kingdom of Kush The Kingdom of Kush was thought to have come into existence in 1069 BCE according to the World History Encyclopedia and thrived until roughly 350 CE before it collapsed. No previous Egyptian settlement was known to be in this part of the Nile Valley. Wieserek noted that there were previously no known instances of Egyptian centers that stretched into the portion of the Nile Valley where the old Dangola blocks were found. Filling in an important gap. I hope that our discovery will help fill this gap, Wieserek said, referencing his hope that the Polish team's discovery will rewrite the history of both Kushite and Egyptian culture. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll never miss out on our latest content, and you'll be helping us to create even more amazing videos for you in the future. Thank you for your support.